Today, I wanna to talk about something important. I don't do videos like this very often. If I'm honest, I am a lot more comfortable sitting in front of a camera when I'm playing a video game. So just bear with me. I guess I'll start off by telling you that the title of this video isn't 100% true. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll understand why. My life has been a bit of a roller coaster over the past five years. And I know that's true for a lot of people because you know we all went through the pandemic, but on top of that, Things have been kind of crazy, so I thought I would just sit down today and tell you about it. I was actually planning on making this video months ago, but I just never got around to doing it. And now, like, I'm at the point where if I don't make it, like, right now, it's not gonna happen. So, let's rewind. Let's, let's go all the way back to 2018, back when I was married. In 2018, I was living in Paradise, Newfoundland with my wife and our pets. And in June of that year, we packed everything up and we flew all the way from Newfoundland to Vancouver, British Columbia, which is pretty much as far away as you could possibly get from Newfoundland without leaving the country. The reason we moved here is because my now ex-wife wanted to go to makeup school. And there's a really good makeup school here in Vancouver. So I, I told her, you know, if that's gonna make you happy, if that's what you wanna do, I'll do it. I mean, I have a job where I can pretty much make a living anywhere in the world, so I was cool with it. I thought it'd be nice to have a change of scenery and all that good stuff, and Vancouver is a pretty cool city, so, you know, we did it. Now, full disclosure, my marriage was not good at the time. There was basically a conversation we had where I told her, let's give it another year. We'll move to Vancouver. You can get your education that you want, and if things still aren't working out in a year, will do the thing. Now, obviously the long story short here is that we did end up doing the thing. She moved out the following April, and if I'm honest, it really was a long time coming. Like, so much of that relationship was just me trying to make it work, despite the fact that it obviously wasn't working. I wanted the relationship that I had with my high school sweetheart to last a long time, you know? That I, I wouldn't have married someone if I didn't want it to work forever, but it just kind of got worse and worse. So, you know, what do you do when you're in a relationship with someone and despite the fact that you do love each other, you just, you just never seem to be able to get along and you never seem to be on the same page about things. There's only really one thing you can do if you want to be happy and that is go your separate ways. So we went our separate ways and I am a lot happier now, of course. I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I feel like I need to kind of rewind. So we got to Vancouver. So before I moved to Vancouver, I'd only ever been here one time, and that was for a month-long summer camp. And, you know, I was pretty blown away by British Columbia because it is so, so different from the East Coast. Like, this is a, a rainforest, apparently, and uh, the trees are huge, and in Newfoundland, everything is kind of stunted. You know, it's called The Rock for a reason. Like even the existence of hedges had my mind blown because I, I'd never seen a hedge before. I know that's such a weird thing, but it's true. I was like, whoa, check out this thing. How did they make that grow? Well, it turns out that not every place in Canada is inhospitable. So I would definitely say one of the things that I like the most about Vancouver slash BC is the, uh, the climate. It's probably the thing most people like about Vancouver. It doesn't snow very much here, which of course people tend to like, especially living in Canada. Now I'm not that big of a snow hater. I think snow is just fine. There's lots of fun things you can do in the snow, but still it was a, it was a nice change of pace, not having to shovel my car out of the driveway all the time. However, there are some things about Vancouver that aren't good. And one of the main things is the rent price here. Like it's way more expensive to rent. And of course, it's also more expensive to buy a house. So for me to go from owning a house in Newfoundland to renting in Vancouver, it was a bit of a shock. Now, I wasn't really planning on staying a super long time. Um, although, you know, I have been here for five years. I thought we were gonna kinda, you know, do the school thing and then maybe leave again. I don't know. I had no five-year plan at that point, okay? I was just kinda taking it one step at a time, trying to make my life work, trying to make sure things didn't fall apart, which obviously they did. Another thing about Vancouver that was bad for me is the fact that I didn't know anybody here when I moved here. I knew one person, so... 
I was pretty lonely a lot of the time, especially in the first year, especially considering I had, you know, marital problems as well. So um, that was a bit of a struggle. I'm not going to lie. It definitely was not a good time for me. But, you know, things did get better over time. I, I think it was after my my wife, now ex-wife, moved out uh, that I actually started going to pinball tournaments because there is... Uh, such a thing as pinball tournaments, believe it or not. People do it. And there's a, a decent scene here in Vancouver. So I made a lot of friends through pinball. Pretty much everybody that I know now in Vancouver is through pinball, with the exception of my neighborhood. But I'll, I'll get to that. So when we first moved here, we actually moved to West Vancouver, which is a city next to Vancouver. And we rented a house and it was tucked away in the trees. And while there were neighbors, they were all like really old. So I didn't really have any opportunities there to make friends. And after my ex-wife moved out, I actually lived in that house for another, I think, two years. I mean, you can look back. You can see if you watch my videos, the background of my face cam. For a long time, it was like a window with a tree in it uh, for like three years. And then it changed to this boring gray wall. Look, I like to keep it simple, okay? So, so a gray wall is just fine for now. I apologize if this is really boring. If I'm honest, it's really boring to talk about as well. I swear I'm getting to the good stuff. We moved here, we split up, and then within a few months, I got a girlfriend. And if I'm honest, I probably shouldn't have done that because I don't think I was quite ready. It's just that, you know, after being with someone for like 10 years and going through so much with somebody... I was really excited about the idea of finding someone who was, you know, a better fit for me. I was excited about the idea of having a relationship that wasn't bad. You know, that relationship went on for about eight months and it moved super quickly. And I, I didn't mean for it to. I was just kind of, like I said, not ready for it. And it got to a point where I, I just said to myself, I don't think this is what I want. I don't feel like this is the person that I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. So at that point, I had to sit that girl down and I had to look her in the eye and say, I don't want to be with you anymore. And that was actually the first time I've ever had to like break up with someone in like a one-sided way. Because when it came to my divorce, we were both like, yup, this is terrible. But in the other situation, it was like she didn't want to break up and I did. And that was, you know, kind of difficult. So during that short relationship that I had after I split up with my ex-wife, I, uh, I was going out and playing pinball at different bars in Vancouver because I like pinball. I used to own a pinball machine before I moved here and I missed having one. So I used to go out and, you know, just play some pinball. And I ran into a guy one day and he told me that they have tournaments once a week at this place downtown. It's now closed because COVID ruins everything. So I started going to pinball tournaments once or twice a week, and I met so many people through that. Like, most of the people that I now know in Vancouver are pinball players. And I gotta say, there's a lot of really nice people, and they're from all kinds of different walks of life. You know, you got people who are like 19 years old, and you got people who are like getting up for 70 years old. And we all just come together and drink beer and play pinball, and it's kind of wonderful. Now, in terms of this relationship I had after my divorce, I would love to tell you that once that was over, I just took myself off the dating market for a long time and focused on me and blah, blah, blah. But that's not really how it worked. I did end up meeting someone pretty soon after, but it was different this time because going into that relationship, I mostly just knew what I didn't want in a partner and I wasn't really super clear on what I did want. And once that relationship was over, I had a pretty good idea of the things I did and didn't want in a relationship. And I told myself that I was gonna find a girl who was all the things that I wanted. And somehow, I did. Like within a few months, I met the girl that I'm still with to this day. We've been together for three and a half years. And I've honestly never been happier in a relationship. And granted, I've only been in a couple relationships before this, but I know a good thing when I see it. And I have a really, really good thing. The point of this video is not to brag about how happy I am in my relationship, but it's definitely a big part of what I'm about to explain. So here goes. 
So this girl that I've been with for a few years now, some of you may know her as Craig. And of course, that's not her actual name. Craig is just the nickname we gave her one day on a live stream because I made a joke that I found her on Craigslist. Again, I'm not here to brag about how happy I am in my relationship or anything, but uh, this girl is the full package, okay? She's smart, she's funny, she's caring, she's beautiful. Basically all the things that I wanted in a woman she is, and all the things that I wanted in a relationship I have in my relationship with her. And I can't tell you enough how thankful I am for that, okay? So, so there, I said it. A couple years ago, my brother got married and I took my girlfriend to the wedding in Newfoundland where she met my whole family for the first time and she experienced Newfoundland for the first time. And while I thought she would have a good trip, I thought she would enjoy Newfoundland. Nothing could prepare me for how much she actually enjoyed it. Like I told her when we first met that I was thinking of moving back to Newfoundland at some point. And after we got back from our trip, she was telling me she wanted to move to Newfoundland. So at first it was just a sort of long-term plan. At some point we are gonna move to Newfoundland. And then after a while she said to me, hey, when are we gonna move to Newfoundland? Like when, when do you actually wanna do this thing? This was about a year ago and I said to her, I don't know, maybe next fall. And she was like, okay, deal. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's happening. Apparently we're actually gonna do this. I can't believe it. Oh my God, look at this. Who's interrupting this video, huh? You know, I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm in the middle of telling a very important story. She doesn't care. Can you believe that? What's that? She says smash the like button, guys. She, al she always says that. You're so embarrassing. They don't have to smash the like button if they don't want to. Yes, you do. Now we're at the point in the video where you know what the life-changing decision is. And the reason that the title isn't 100% true is because I didn't make this decision. We made it together because we wanna have an amazing future together. And that's what we're gonna do, okay? Today is Wednesday. So I have one week left in British Columbia and then me and Craig and my dog Luca I'm gonna get in a car and drive across the country. Now, I also have two cats. They are gonna get picked up later. I'm gonna fly back. We're both gonna fly back and pick up the cats because I don't wanna drive them across the country. But uh, I really wanted to do, we both really wanted to do a road trip. So we're basically doing this big, long three week road trip to a whole bunch of different provinces. We're staying with a bunch of different friends. I'm gonna get to see my brother's baby for the first time. He had a baby last month. His wife had a baby last month and I am so friggin' excited to meet my niece. I have so much going on in my life right now, guys, and I do have a little bit of bad news to go along with this. Because we're doing a three week road trip, I have decided to take about a month off YouTube. This is something I've never done before. I think my longest break ever was like 10 days. I think that's like the longest I've went without uploading. So this is gonna be a new record for me. And I will say that I'm not worried about it. I know a lot of YouTubers get worried whenever they take time off. They're afraid that you know their views are gonna go down, their channel's gonna die. But I've been through all the ups and downs of YouTube for the last eight years. Longer even if you include when I was also going to university at the same time. I have been through so much on this platform and despite all the ups and downs, my channel is still here and this is still my full-time job. And I have no intention of that changing. In fact, I intend to make even better content once I move back to Newfoundland. I'm not guaranteeing anything, of course, but that's the plan. I hope this video wasn't too long and dragged out. I had a lot of things I wanted to say and I feel like I still didn't say them all, but I think I covered the majority of it I just wanna let you guys know that I am in a really good place and I'm really excited for my future. And despite the fact that I've had a lot of setbacks in the last few years, I feel like I'm on the right track. And for the first time in a very long time, potentially ever, I have like a real five year plan. Like I know where I wanna be in the next five years. I won't spoil too much, okay? But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for my future and I genuinely think that my life is only gonna get better from here. And uh, one thing I will say is that I do plan on going back to my second channel once I move and doing a little bit more on Shay. For the people who enjoy content that isn't 
mobile games. You know what I mean? I'll probably do reaction videos like I did before, as well as like videos where I talk about trending topics. Although at the moment, I feel like I'm really, really bad at just talking in front of a camera. It took me an hour and 22 minutes to record this video so far. Hey, look, another cat. This is crazy. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say is just thank you. Honestly, thank you to everybody who supported me over the years. And uh, I hope you continue to just watch my content, even if it's just now and then. Maybe you're one of those people who hasn't watched one of, one of my videos in a long time. Uh, I'm glad you're here right now, and I hope you have an amazing day. Goodbye.